I'm a bit shorter than the previous speakers. And thank you all for hanging around till now. You're obviously the astute investors. Thank you for my, to the preceding four presenters for warming you up. Um, and I won't keep you too long. So who are essential metals? Well, we're a lithium explorer. We have two gold projects as well that we manage. And we also have a portfolio of uh, joint venture interests that give us some optionality on other commodities and other projects. Our main flagship project is the Pioneer Dome. It's a lithium project. Uh, it's about 50 kilometres north of Norseman. Uh, we have two gold projects, Golden Ridge and Juggler Dome, and they sit just east of Kalgoorlie. Um, in terms of our overview, we're, we are the, the, the art type uh, micro cap. Um, we're, we've made a discovery, so we're, we're moving forward in our lithium. Uh, we've got to keep progressing that. We've got two early stage gold projects. Um, we've got a, uh, an experienced board and, and management team, uh, a very strong and competent technical team. Um, our projects are all near Kalgoorlie. What that means is that we can adequately manage three 100% uh, owned projects. Um, it's easy for us to get in and out of, easy to access and lower cost exploration. Um, as I said, we've already got a high quality lithium resource. It's a great head start for us. Um, and we'll be drilling um, around that resource uh, in July, and uh, we're hoping to grow it um, significantly. We've got the two exciting gold projects. Uh, they're surrounded by um, Horizon Minerals and, uh, and Northern Star, that's uh, Golden Ridge, and Juggler Dome is surrounded by Silver Lake and uh, Black Cat Syndicate. And if I talk as though I'm talking about neurology, it's just good locations, uh, and we've got lots of evidence that... Uh, they can support um, some pretty good gold systems. <coughs> In terms of the company, microcap, we always hear the, uh, hear the comment that we're undervalued, we think we are. Um, we've got an EV of uh, just under $13 million. Um, very experienced team, we're well funded um, for our campaigns uh, for the remainder of the year. Um, of course, that's success dependent. Um, we'll spend heavily once we, uh, we get some success, more success. Um, so the, the main project that I want to talk to you about is the Pioneer Dome Lithium Project. Um, it's been in the portfolio of the company since 2016. Um, and uh, at the commencement of our, our lithium exploration, um, we happened chance to cross a, a very unusual mineral called pellucite. Uh, and that contains cesium, the element cesium. And if you hear about, um, you know, pegmatite systems, they're commonly known as LCT systems, well, C is the cesium. Um, we happily went and, and, and developed a small mining operation on that. Uh, it was very successful and generated $10 million in a very short period of time for us. And that's allowed us to remain unfunded for a period of three years. Uh, we did raise some money last year just to, to re-boost the, uh, the coffers. So, so Pioneer Dome is in a uh, Tier 1 jurisdiction. Um, it's going to be easy for us to develop down the track. Um, it's very close to Kalgoorlie and it's next to a highway through to Esperance. Um, and as I said, we, we made a, a pretty good uh, early start. So we started uh, looking in earnest in 16. We were diverted or, or focused on the, on the cesium. Uh, and then sort of in uh, mid-19, went out looking for, uh, for spodumene. And lo and behold, 18 kilometres from the cesium mine, uh, we discovered Dome North. Uh, there are three mineralised pegmatites that we've found so far. Um, the first drilling campaign gave us a maiden resource of 8 million tonnes. The second campaign... Uh, increase that to 11 and, and we're getting ready, uh, getting set to start the third uh, resource sort of uh, focus campaign next uh, in July in two months time. We've already um, crossed off or ticked off I should say uh, the mineralogy uh, because it's very important to understand what sort of spodumene you have. Ours is very clean, very homogenous, uh, it's got a very low iron content, um, our wall rock uh, <coughs> Um, boundaries are very thin, um, so uh, we just need more of it, is I suppose the, the key point here. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll start, we need to get our resource bigger, uh, we understand that. It's a fine crystal spodumene, so it means it will require flotation. 
Um, so we need more resources. And once we start to, to get some uh, assurance and um, confidence around that, uh, then we'll start doing the development type studies that we need to do as well. So in terms of a, a grade profile, it's a 1.2%. Uh, the K uh, pegmatite is the main um, mineralised ore body within the, in the resource. That accounts for about three quarters of it. It's, um, it's, it's, it, there's a high core through it that runs up to about 1.7%, uh, but the average is 1.2 across the three of them. Uh, and by any measures, that's typical for a spodumene uh, resource. In terms of um, comparing, comparing ourselves to peers, well, we, we did a bit of analysis early in the year just to find out where we, we stood, and uh, we're less than half of our peers. And, and, and I think fundamentally it's just because our resources is at 11 million tonnes. If we get to 20, uh, I think we'll be well towards the 200 tonne uh, valuation, $200 US per tonne valuation. Uh, if you look at some of the analogue companies in Australia, and I, I drew the line at a billion dollars market cap because I wanted to keep it within realm of uh, possibility uh, in the next two, uh, 12 months. But you can see that we are, on comparisons to some of the peers, um, have, have a good upside. Um, you can see from the numbers there that, uh, you know, and, and a lot of these companies have run hard once they've either got their resource to a... a, a a size that they can demonstrate the economic viability, uh, or they've, they've actually made a, a big discovery, such as uh, Kathleen Valley, where Liontown did that in April 18 and, and, and took off from there, and, and Core Lithium have done, done a fantastic job on progressing uh, from their resource. So the Cade deposit, as I mentioned, is the, the at this point uh, the main mineralised pegmatite. Uh, it's got an average width of 20 metres. It's still open. Uh, down, dip and plunge to the north and that'll be part of our focus in July to, to, to follow that up. Uh, you can see the grades are, are fantastic and uh, as I mentioned before, very low iron content, about 0.6%. Um, the, the second uh, deposit, sorry, we've gone over one, is the Davy deposit. So Davy sits about a kilometre west of Cade um, and that has been... Um, that was the part of the second drilling campaign where we were just going across all three. Uh, it was, a, it was a, a, a prospect at that point, so we, we hadn't planned to put a lot of holes into it, but the numbers that we did come up with are, are very encouraging and we can't wait to get back in there and follow it uh, further to the north. Uh, interestingly, Cade sits in sediments. Davy sits at the bone on the, on, the, on the edge of the sediments and the mafic rock, um, and we see some excellent potential for to extend further and perhaps open up to the north. In terms of the upside potential, um, and, and this is part of our planning for July, is that we've identified nearly a dozen um, follow-up targets. Um, we're debating the, 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 the scope and the type of drilling that we need to do, or combinations of drilling, whether it's some Corps and RC, uh, just to start to fill our way through. Um, but uh, we'll get some fairly early indications as we move through July. It'll probably take a, a month of drilling and results will be following uh, four to six weeks later. Of course, we'll keep the market updated if we see um, visual spodumene in any uh, drill chips. Um, I'll also just quickly touch on two gold projects that we have. I know this is all about battery minerals, but um, gold will find its way in there somewhere. Um, so we've got Juggler Dome, which is the, uh, uh, it's about 20 k's east of, of Cal. Um, it's been around for a long time, predominantly as a nickel play, and we've in fact just recently, earlier this year, um, announced a joint venture with a, uh, a really well credentialed and backed, financially backed uh, group, Crest, uh, who are going to take over the nickel exploration on that side. That's fantastic for us. We can focus on the gold, uh, Crest will focus on the nickel, um, and we can share information. Juggler Dome, as I said, is... Um, it's a, a new tenement for us in that it was granted uh, July last year. We've had uh, two Air Corps programs go through. Uh, we've identified a, a nice um, uh, target in guards. So I'll just quickly jump through to guards. Um, and so guards is basically a, 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 a porphyry that's, that, that comes up to surface. At the moment we've tracked it for a one, just over a one kilometre in length. Uh, the grades are, you know, between one to two grams. Uh, it's at the moment between uh, seven to ten metres wide, 
uh, it does blow out further south. Um, our air core has shown it continues, so we're going to look to, uh, to follow that up. That'll follow, probably follow after our lithium drilling in, uh, in July. And what we also have too is uh, we have leverage. So we've got these joint venture projects, two nickel, four gold, and we also have a lithium project uh, that we manage in Canada where we have 51%. Um, and what that does is that that's not our money being spent, it's our partners' money and their expertise being applied. So it allows us to focus on our projects. We can't do everything, um, but it gives us that fantastic optionality um, should they make discoveries and should those commodities uh, move up in price. So the key takeaways are we're well funded. Um, we've got a really experienced board. Um, Craig McGowan, Capital Markets, Warren Hallam Operations is metallurgist, Paul Payne, very experienced uh, geologist, uh, and they're great guiding hands for, uh, for my management team. Um, we're, we're located, uh, main projects are all located near Kalgoorlie, very easy to get to, high, tier one jurisdiction, and we're also in a, in a lithium corridor that hosts Mount Merion, that's 100 k's away, Bald Hill, that's um, 60 k's as the crows flies. And, and, and Lion Towns Wildani is about 70 kilometres away. So a really prospective area for lithium. Um, we've got, we're, we're on the cusp, you know, you, 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 you look at the old um, hockey stick, it's always post discovery and, and then expansion. We're at that point. Uh, we've got to do the hard work to get, and, 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 and also have a bit of luck, I think, to get up through there. So um, these guys have all been there and done that. They've shown you what can happen. Uh, where market caps and share prices can get to. Um, we'd hope to take you on that journey over the next 12 months if we can. Uh, look, thank you for your time. I know we're running a little, little bit behind. I hopefully I've caught up two minutes, so there you go. Thank you.